Hey, Dick Ritchie on Tools. As I promised, I'm here to talk more about my personal batch of DeWalt tools. I kind of recommend DeWalt, and I say kind of. That's a, a loose recommendation because there are better. If you have the budget and you have the money, I could suggest Milwaukee Tools, Makita, stuff like that. But for your average homeowner, your your average hobbyist, uh, DIYer, even some smaller businesses like mine where you don't do really heavy power tool use, DeWalt's really good. The reason why I believe DeWalt's really good is they have a wide range of tools that all fit the same lithium 20 volt battery scenario, which is nice. So you have... 20 volt batteries they're all pretty much lithium these days but the big thing you want to look for is the amperage this is a 5 amp battery 5 amps pretty good and they're making them even higher now this is probably a 3 or a 2.5 i'm not sure i don't even think it says it on it it doesn't but the higher the amperage this is a bigger battery but they make smaller ones that are high amps too but this bigger one obviously is going to last longer it's 5 amps so it's going to be a little bit more powerful and you can see the difference when you're doing or using different DeWalt tools. I've got a bunch here. The blower. This is great. You don't ever have to push a broom again in the shop. You just, boom. You're dusting stuff off. The blower always gets my dogs going. The weed whacker. The trimmer. That's a great one too. Now, if you got some big, burly weeds, it's going to have some trouble with that. But as far as trimming grass, smaller weeds, things like that, you, you're easily going to be able to trim a smaller yard, like a quarter acre yard, with one battery. Yeah. So I suggest you get those if you're a homeowner and you don't have a huge piece of property. If not, if you got a bigger piece of property, go for a gas trimmer. I've got a Husqvarna. I suggest a steel. If you got the money, the steel's great. The tool I use the most out of all these may be the orbital sander, because I'm a woodworker, but is also the sawzall. Now, I like this sawzall. This, it's also called a reciprocating saw, and it reciprocates. See how it goes back and forth? You can put other tool inserts on this, and it's all quick release, too. See? This has got a metal blade on it right now. A nice long metal blade and this is like your safety you put it up to it now like i said they all carry the same batteries i've got chargers everywhere i've got a bunch of batteries and the reciprocating saw used primarily to cut metal is what i use it for then you have this tool i think it's called the oscillating This is great for cutting, like say, on my wood bases where the wood might stick out a little bit. You can just use that, man. It's so nice. Good tool. This is really great tool for like cutting trim if you if you do tile work and stuff like that. You just so say you got trim on your baseboard and you're gonna put tile down and you want the tile to go under the trim before you do anything. You set the towel on the surface that you're doing the towel on, put the piece of towel up to the trim, and then you just and you can cut the trim. And that little piece of trim comes out, and the towel can slide right in. Really nice. Great for doors, too. So when you have a door that's going to open over the towel, and you're putting towel on, it's getting bigger, it's going to keep the door from opening. So you put that towel up to the door, and you make a line, and you, you can cut it right there on site with this. Great tool. Now this tool, I, it's called like the Roto Zip, is what it used to be called. I don't know what they call it now. It's whatever. I don't use this tool. I don't think these do a good job. I think they're great for maybe for drywall or something. I don't do drywall. But this tool is just, it's kind of like a drill that cuts. And I don't get it. Now, I don't even know how to use it should be running hmm. 
Hmm. There you go. So you can plunge it and you can do cuts, supposedly in wood. I don't like it. I don't think that, um, I just don't like them. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of these, but I got it in case I need it. Another cool sander that I don't use much. This is great for like little corners. It's got a quick release uh, system right here that isn't as quick as you think it would be on any of the tools, whether it be DeWalt or anything. There you go. Slides out, slides in. You can turn it. So like say you're wearing out that corner and you want to turn it and you can put it in there like that. And now, now you're sanding into the little tight corners with this. I don't need to use this that much. But it's great having all these. And of course, battery gel. I use this probably as much as I use the orbital sander. And something I found that I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was pretty cool, tin snips. So these tin snips are so cool. And they're real affordable. I got it on Amazon. Here, check it out, right? I'll put it right here. Don't move the camera, Gary. Right here. Right here. Put it right there. Look. Yeah. It's Walt Tin Snips. Now, I've, I couldn't find any metal in the shop because it's a wood shop, but this mason jar lid. So I'm going to show you how you do this. So first off, you put, your, you put it in your drill, right? Hold your chuck. Tighten this up. Turn it. Now this right here will brace onto your, your where your battery's at. Now it looks like it's got like a there we go. So this is built for a DeWalt drill specifically because it's got two hole two pins right here, and then it's got a hole here and a hole here, and then these will go into those holes. You just gotta do this, whatever. And it almost doesn't fit or reach, so I've always just tightened them wherever it, it will stop. So now I'm going to tighten it down. You almost don't need that unless you're really going nuts. Now say you, got the, you want this lid to be cut in half. I just cut a piece of metal, tin, I'm just, I'm not being very safe because the closer I get, it'd be a good video if I cut my finger off, wouldn't it? But that's cool. Turn your drill into tin snips. I bought tin snips before, the pneumatic ones that hook up the airline, and I bought them at Harbor Freight and they didn't work. Those have been working great. I don't have to cut a lot of tin though, so who knows how long it'll last. But yeah, so here are, you can buy drill bits, you can buy all kinds of things for your DeWalt. And if you had all these tools in your garage, imagine the stuff you could do. Do all kinds of stuff. Build stuff, fix stuff, make stuff with your DeWalt tools. Check them out. You can buy like the whole tool pack with all the different saws and the different things and a grinder there's more stuff a lot more stuff lights radios you name it if you got any questions or what you think you might need hit me up with a question and i'll say hey you know what's your project you'll be saying well i do a lot of this i do a little bit of that i do a little and i'll be like you should get this kit this will have an impact wrench this will have that because you work on cars because they got the impact wrenches and things like that all kinds of stuff they make a tool for everything these days and that's pretty awesome because i'm a tool guy and i like tools so check out the wall if you are what i just said a basic dude that fixes and works on stuff and isn't too hard on your tools if you're super hard on your tools you might want to upgrade a little bit higher but i think if you are you already know what to get you know what i mean if you're really hard on tools that means you you know you work with tools 